Welcome back to Base Camp, Western North Carolina. We're back up in the hills on this solar pumping water job. This is a, I keep forgetting to turn the camera on when I start. We framed out this little six by nine. This is gonna be the solar, the, uh, you can see the well in the back corner. And this is gonna be control, have all the solar panels on the roof, all the controls for it. There's gonna be a recharge pump in here. We'll go over the whole system. I uh, got a little shed roof out the back and what that's going to do is that's going to hold that big black tank when we get to that point right there that'll be underneath that roof and the whole purpose of this thing is to su supply water to the pasture to these animals uh, there's going to be some permaculture going on here and some vegetable growing We'll take you along. We're going to start putting some siding on this thing. We'll kind of take you along for the ride. Put a roof on it today and hopefully some trim. Hopefully uh, we won't sink into our knees in this mud. And we'll let you see how this whole job progresses. The weather's been kind of bad. The winds have been really horrible. So I'm trying to do this voiceover. What I'm trying to show you here is uh, we've got all the siding on the material. We've got it on the whole place. Uh, we're now digging a hole approximately about a foot deep to set this tank down into it and we'll show you in a next clip exactly how that's going to work with a valve to keep it from freezing what this is what I'm trying to show you here this uh, piece of pipe coming down off of the tank will actually be inside the tank that is the fill hole and this goes down has a U shape on the bottom and this way the uh, water coming into the tank that the well's going to be putting in will then go down the pipe and, and like then that. force so upwards so that it's not constantly stirring any kind of sediment or anything that'll collect in the bottom of the tank. Um, this is something that everybody's kind of got into doing. Um, hopefully your well's not putting that much sediment up that um, you actually have to filter it out of the tank. And we'll stop and show you the... Um, Yep. valves and everything now with it sitting in the ground. This is the bottom of the tank sitting down in the hole. This is the outflow valve that will be going into the recharge pump for this system. Um, hopefully you can hear the water in the background running. We'll show you that in a second. A little bit better angle here. Uh, as you can see, we have the lid off on the charge controller. We have it temporarily hooked up. We're getting water flowing into the tank. We've got to do a bunch of wire up the solar panels yet and get all the wiring in. But uh, we just have the pipe temporarily run out of the well into the tank. Um, as you can see here, the red lid on that drum is uh, be the ground vault where we'll put the recharge pump down there so it doesn't freeze in, freeze in the winter time. Over on this wall is where the battery box will end up going with 24 volts of battery power be solar charged to run the recharge pump. We have it running right now just testing leaks make sure everything's good and we'll bring you an update a little bit later on. Well, here we got the building pretty much done. We've got a rain gutter and piece to finish up on the back. We have the tank. We've got it sunk in the ground about a foot and this is for frost protection. We'll take you up here and show you where the valve's going to come out of the bottom of the tank. And what we're going to have on there is a vault body. And that tank right, the valve right there will be 12 inches below the ground. Uh, it'll be covered up. It'll be uh, freeze proof. This solar, this old pumping station, everything is totally off grid. So there'll be no heat tapes or no way of keeping it warm in the winter time. So we advise this plan here in the inside to put everything in a body, in a vault, underneath the ground. Let me take you inside to show it to you. We're almost done this little project. Right here, Carolina Homestead Planner, when we take on a project, we just don't do the, the fun and easy stuff. We, as you've seen in this video, we've built the building, we've dug the hole, um, we've plumbed everything up. We're almost done with this thing. I'm going to walk you around and show you how things have turned out. Uh, this is an off-grid system. Uh, it's grant money. The owner got grant money through NRCS, through the tobacco settlement thing. Um, so it'll be inspected by them. 
it does have a 24 volt DC pump that will run when the sun's shining. As you can tell by the weather here today in this picture, it wouldn't be generating much electricity today. But um, it is set up for wintertime application. Um, I'm gonna walk you around and show you this thing. First thing you see, there's a freeze proof hydrant right there that will drain, so at least have water right there. And we'll take you up and show you some other stuff. This is the 1100 gallon tank that was in the back of that truck. We have buried about a foot of it down in the ground. And as you saw on earlier video, we had a valve coming out the bottom, holes yet to be filled in, gravel and fabric will be laid down all around this, but that valve is about 12 inches in the ground. So we'll pretty much be protected here for freezing. This is right outside of Asheville. It's only about 1600 foot in elevation. So the winters aren't that hard. Um, we have the tank, the wire coming out the top is the float. And this piece of pipe right here comes down out of the building. We've got it set like this so that it'll feed in the winter time. It'll drain into this tank. There's no float to push or anything else. So when the pump cuts off, everything will drain this way. The other end of this pipe going down the well, there's a weep hole in the pipe about four foot down, about a sixteenth of an inch diameter hole we drilled and everything that way will drain down in the well. So winter time, there'll be no water in this pipe. Everything will be fine. It won't freeze up and break. I'm gonna take you around back and show you some other things. Well, this is the back end of it. This is what's yet to be done. The owner bought some solar panels with a group. They went in on a group buy and bought some. Um, got the panels, no clips or rack or anything. So we're gonna build a rack. He's ordered the clips. They'll be in in a day or two. So we'll have to finish them up. There'll be three solar panels on the back end of this thing, right down here at the bottom. So that winter time, if it gets snow on them, you can come up here with a broom and get the snow off. Uh, two of the panels be rigged up for 24 volts that'll run the pump. One panel will be charged 12 volts, which will be charging the, the 12 volt battery for the booster pump. And we're going to sneak inside and we're going to show you what that looks like. Okay, we're inside this little hut right now. And then once again, there's the well. And that pipe goes up and goes out the ceiling. A little bit of a pain that way. If we walk around the tank on the back side, we don't have to crawl around that pipe. But like I said, it's mainly there. Down in this well, about four or five foot, there's a little hole in that black pipe and it'll drain down this side so we don't have to worry about freezing. As you saw in this other video, there's the charge controller. When we get the solar panels hooked up, we'll be able to put that in. Um, have a convenient shelf right there. The bottom shelf is where the batteries will sit. I like having something over top so nobody drops anything on the terminals of the battery. And then in that earlier video, we showed this drum right here. This is a 30 gallon drum. And this is the recharge pump to pump the pressure in the water. Uh, this is the water coming in from the tank, goes in. There's a little sediment filter right there. Pump right there. This is the outgoing line that goes out to that hydrant and that'll go into the total water system. This is a flow jack pump. It is 12 volts. It is a hoss. Let me give you the information on that thing if you're interested. Okay, here's the information. It's a pretty good sized pump. It does six gallons a minute. Um, it does draw a good bit. It's drawing like 18 amps, so it's gonna really pull. This pump will push water vertical 160 feet. At 160 feet, it's a trickle, so at best, you know, a hundred good 100 foot of lift. It'll supply all the waters and everything out here. This is what the owner wanted to go with.
Well, thank you for watching the video. As usual, if you like it, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. We'll have at least one or two more videos on this. The next one will be showing the layout and uh, solar panels. And the other one will probably be all the trenching and the irrigation system for being able to rotate the livestock on new grass all the time and keep everything watered. But as I said, stay tuned, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and let me know what you think. Thank you.